competed in his very first Paralympic Games and already Paralympic champion. So pretty good start to his Paralympic career. Yeah, not bad at all. Doesn't get much better than that. And now in the semi-final here. Well, they've got to make sure that all the equipment is fixed and it will need to be fixed. The wheelchair itself needs to be fixed to the platform and we will see movement along that platform as they build up momentum because they will be coming virtually out of that chair. Although one buttock has to stay in contact all the time with the chair and uh, there will be people watching, referees watching very carefully to make sure that happens. That's not their sole job, but just one of them. A very <laughs> important part of the role of the two extra referees. So three referees in total for every match. The head referee sits in the middle of the piece, looking directly at the fences and the scoreboard. And the two assistant referees sit behind either fencer, checking for any wires that might come unplugged for any excessive movement in the chair. Well, tests have been complete. All the equipment is working. We're now ready to start the semi-final for the Category A men's foil. Well, straight away you can see exactly what I mean there by needing to use the wheelchair and get the leverage so uh, it can't possibly move. A card coming out early on. The yellow card given to Ospath on the right by the referee. Maybe a little excessive movement. That's what these referees just out of the picture will be checking for and will be communicating to the referee. Clap for Hungary as the point is added to the board for Ospath. Quickly back though. One point each, and that yellow card there, if he gets another one, it'll be an immediate point to his opponent. But uh, second point there to Osbath. Wow, straight in. Three quick points there. 4 1 now up for Osbath. Hungarian on a bit of a roll, opening up a lead over the silver medalist from last year's World Championships. Songang already a gold medal in these Paralympic Games in the F8, but the chance of a gold medal, he must win this match if he's going to have chance to fight again and become double Paralympic champion at the moment. Richard Osbath of Hungary. Dominating the early stages of this fight. Now in some ways, it's a bit of a shame these two have met in the semi-final because they are ranked one and two in the world, but not in the rankings after the pools. So it's the way the draw has fallen. The others meant, but in some ways, in theory, could have been the gold medal match is actually happening one round earlier. One of these athletes will be guaranteed a medal, the winner of this match. And the loser will, at best, be able to claim the bronze. Well, now you can see it there, that having to be hotched back onto the platform. A lot of movement. Those wheelchairs that are fixed actually move along the platform and it's the momentum you see how aggressive they are 7-1 Osvath the speed coming from the Hungarian and dominating maybe more than expected in this semi-final fight. Sun getting his second point on the board. 
but he'll need to have a dramatic turnaround if he's going to see himself with a chance to add to his Paralympic titles because Osvath stretching away nine victories over the two of some. Yeah, well, either way, uh, either one of them are going to have a, a second Olympic final. Target some wanting to just straighten out the blade of his foil. Just explain why sometimes when it's bent they have to straighten it out. Well, if you, do, you certainly don't want it bending upwards, you can't have as much control. So you need a very slight curve that when they hold it on guard, the curve is ever so slightly down. That just gives that's the, the position that the blade naturally bends in. Bending up the other way, you can't even see the the, the blade, and you can't tell your point. A little cramp or a hard hit in the left shoulder of Sun. Not sorry, and it's, that is his fencing arm. So really wanting to make sure that's fully recovered before he yeah, comes they, back on guard. They come in with such force, don't they? If both come in together at the same time, the force that they come in is incredible. everything to crawl back into the match six points behind Osbath well maybe the tables are going to turn still trailing by five though oh, another one there for Osbath the Hungarian Looking on form, his coach encouraging him from behind the piece. Just a little tactical change of weapon. Look, you can see it has a selection to choose from, so the athletes allowed several backups, several spares, and they can ask to change their F their foil when they wish to do so. Some gang trails. So just five points to Osvath's ten. That's looking good for the Hungarian at the moment. That was like lightning though, wasn't it there from Sun? Straight the way back. The referee to be call calling to have these, the platform moved back to the center of the piece. You can just see the platform the Osvast chair is fixed to. It's become rather close to the right hand side as we look at it. Yeah. The Hungarian trying to help but <laughs> not getting the movement that is required to move these. And it just shows how heavy the platform and the chairs are that they're managing to move these with the sheer speed and energy that's put into each and every hit during this match. Yeah, it's not just going to the side either. It's getting rotation on it as well. So it just shows that they're getting different angles of attack. Osvath asking to check the connection. But the green light is still working. And you can see the green light appear again then. The referee has a card to show to... Sun of China, and that's, was it a yellow? I think it was, he just had the red out alongside it, but just a yellow card, just a warning to Sun Gang. Well, you can feel the tension. Both fences wanting to ensure everything is working, don't need anything to chance in this Paralympic semi-final. Sun is going to have to pull out something special. Again, moving towards the end of the piece. Osvath's platform getting rather too close for the referee's liking and just having the fences repositioned back to the center of the piece. Yeah, it's a regular, uh, especially in category A, where they have a little bit more movement 
from the upper part of the body, from the upper trunk, and you can see them building up the momentum. Look how they grip onto the chair as well, both in together. The review has been called. Referee now. Yeah, just to explain a little bit about the review, how that works. Um, well, Heather. each fencer at the start of a direct elimina elimination fight, when it's the first of 15 points, has given the option to have two appeals or request the referee to review the video footage from that point. If successful, their two reviews will remain. If unsuccessful, then they're down to just the one remaining. But obviously... It's a successful one, and the points awarded, it's most certainly worth the risk. Yeah, a little bit of tactics, isn't it, as well as now. Well, and also, if they're absolutely sure of it, but, uh, well, that one went to Osvath. Osvath gets now 13-6 up. Sun just asking for the review now, so we'll see what comes of this. We often start to see more requests of a review as the fight gets towards the closing stages, more at stake. And Sun Gang really needs every point he can get. Not happy with that decision, but really nothing that he can do. The referee's decision in fencing is always final. He can use that video analysis if he chooses, even without the request of the athlete. So it's up to the referee, has to decide then. Sun Gang, two points in a row, back within five of Richard Oswald. No one on target in those attempts. That's going to be a card, isn't it, given? Jump in the gun again, and it's Osvath well this that time. That now means Sun within four points of Osvath. Osvath, who's dominated since the very start of this fight. Well, again, really, every time moving to the right of the beast, the movement these defences are having is somehow causing them to only move in the one direction. Well, I was going to say, is that because of attack or is it because of defense? Because I suppose it could be a, a mixture of both. You know, one coming forward and uh, attacking all the time, the other one going into defensive. And But like you say, it is. It's moving in a particular direction. So this match following a particular pattern. Well, the pattern is slightly broken with the momentum of the scores. But Osbath getting his first point on for a little while. And now the Hungarian is just one point away from making it through to the gold medal match. Sun is going to do absolutely everything in his power to stop the Hungarian. Well, we've just got a discussion from the referee with Sun. And the score seems to be a little confused here, the scorer. And it's been awarded to Sun. Still four points down. He cannot afford to give anything away. The Hungarian needs just one more hit. One more valid hit. And then he'll be into that final match. Something yeah. seems to have moved. The chairs most possibly have moved on the platform because the distance between the two fences has decreased. Uh, yeah, I was I think that's just trying to say yeah, that that's his what chair he's has saying. moved on the platform because the platforms will be fixed, the distance between them. We saw that measured at the beginning of the match, and that will remain the same throughout. I think in all the matches, I don't think we've seen this happen before, where they actually move closer. So there will be something about the midsection, the ratchet on the midsection, and they'll have to measure up again. He's just checking that Oswald is sat square in his wheelchair. 
team check for some. And the distance just being increased ever so slightly. Until the referee is happy. Point of the foil just fits in the crease of the elbow. Platforms are centred. And at this very critical stage in the match, score 14 10, Osvath over Sun. Needing just one more. And so close to the victory. Yeah, a little bit of desperation now. And we're seeing a few more missed hits just off the foil vest. Really on, mainly on Sun. Osvath just needs one more. Let's see, double touch, but with that celebration, the referee gives the hit to Richard Osvath and he wins over Sungang, People's Republic of China. The Hungarian, big hug with his coach. Silver medal in the Sabre, and he's guaranteed at least a silver medal in the foil. Now that's consistency across the board. Handshakes by Sungang and a congratulatory pat on the shoulder of his competitor. So the confirmation of the results 15 10, Richard Osvath of Hungary over Sungang, the People's Republic of China. Yeah, very happy, Richard Osvath in his second uh, final in this Paralympic Games. First day in the Sabre, silver medalist, and now he's going to be competing for the gold medal here in the foil. Well, well de deserved victory. Osvath led from the very early stages, getting three points on the board straight away. And you can just see how much it means to the team of Hungary as well as the individual on the piece. There's a lot that goes behind the scenes, not just that match moment, but it's on the piece that the medals are won or lost. Osvath through to the gold medal match. Sun Gang will get to fence again in the bronze medal match later on. Well, there's the result from the other side of the draw. Pender against Yer. And Yer, the man on form, will be the man to beat. And him and Osbath will fence for that gold medal. Pender and Sun will fence off for the bronze. 